name is Georgia Thirsting. I'm 19 years old and I've been singing and songwriting since I was about 13. Um, I'm like regularly gigging around the Leeds and like London music scenes and just writing loads and trying to get my stuff out there really. The decision to like have music as a career just came really naturally to me because obviously it took a while for me to get to that mindset where I thought I could actually do it. But once I started writing songs I was happy with and thinking, you know, I'm going to learn guitar like, because I, I didn't, I've not always played guitar. So I think when I started playing guitar as well, I found my own sound a lot more. Because I used to play piano and they'd just be songs that I didn't like and quite uninspiring. So I think also moving to London for the year um, in my gap year, like, showed me that I could do it. Because I, I had a, like a nine to five job, but at the same time I'd be gigging regularly and people would be saying, I really like your stuff. And I thought, well, I can only get better. Like, I'm not going to get worse at this. So I just thought I should just go for it, really. In Leeds, there's a few places that I gig. Um, the Rock Bar is a regular for me because I put on a night there. It's a, an acoustic night. But we've actually recently started putting on a band night as well, which is really cool. So um, that's in Leeds, the uh, Rock Bar. And then I've got like the odd restaurant that I do, like Giraffe and um, Park Row I also play at. But when I, that's mainly like cover gigs, like do it for the money, like just to get by. But when I do my original gigs, I kind of like to get my band together and we do things like the Norman Bar. There's a big hip hop and R&B night there. So I think my style of music really fits in with that. Um, and in London as well, there's a lot of different nights going on. I think I'm in the right kind of circle of people after living there for a year. You kind of start to know who puts on the good nights and who is just kind of wasting your time. Pop is the main thing that I do because I don't know, if anyone writes a catchy song, it's pop really, if people are listening and enjoying it. But I like to call myself like soulful pop with a bit of jazz. So I say soulful pop really. Yours for the month, but mine a whole lot longer. Leaving him spent, I come here to devour. Keep up with me, we all know that she doesn't. Incapable of loving him like me. When I'm writing, normally I'll just feel this, I get a, like, a certain feeling in my body and I'm like, I feel inspired, like I'm ready to write. Um, I never sit down and try and write when I don't feel in the mood because it just doesn't happen and I just get, end up getting really frustrated with myself. Um, but like normally I'll sit down and with my guitar just start playing. I'll just play around on the guitar at first, just kind of see what feels right and then I'll just start like improvising a melody over the top. Normally it comes quite naturally, I don't really think about it. But lately like studying music at LCM, I've, I'm being taught how to like revisit your songs and edit them which is something before that I never did. Leaving and spent, I've come here to devour. Keep up with me, we all know that she doesn't. Incapable of loving him like me. The type of advice I've been giving out is a lot to do with just take every opportunity. At first, like when, you, when you're starting out, people are gonna say, can you do this gig, you're not getting paid? Can you do this gig, you're not getting paid? And when you've got nothing, nothing to sit on, you've gotta say yes. So like when I started, I'd do loads of charity gigs, which was obviously for a good cause, but you're playing to a good crowd. Um, I kind of took every gig I was offered, but now I, I feel like I'm at a stage where I can be a bit more selective. So I'm doing the gigs for covers, but my original gigs, people are asking me to play. And when I get emails saying, I put on this night, do you want to play? I say, well, can you tell me what kind of turnout you get? Like, what's in it for me? Because they can really big up their night, but then you can show up and there's two people there and you've paid a train to this place to play and it just wasn't worth it. So I think that's more for when you're like a bit more established. But when you're starting out, I reckon you should just go for it. Well, I've got my music all over the internet. The main one at the moment is SoundCloud because um, I've got all my acoustic tracks on there, which are the tracks that are going to be on my EP, but full band. So that's soundcloud.com slash Georgia underscore thirsting. I could have made it all love test to keep me impressed, but I couldn't resist myself You look so much better undressed I should have ensured that you drew some closure The air is never clear around here I'm the girl, the fox boy's over
twisted game, game of hearts, of hearts. Now that I've played my hand in a bay, did your interest, I should be trying to run from you but instead I feel I've regressed now that I'm aware of the price I shall suffer the air is never clear around here I'm too tired to smooth things over I'll leave myself to blame blame Game, game of 